Welcome back to Cross Country. So over the last few months, I've been happy to share Nyla and my journey with all you viewers at home. And now after countless hours of hard work and training, Queen Nyla has officially made her way to New York City. And the first thing we did was take her out to see the city. Watch. <music> So we're in New York City. I come here part time to do the show. Why would we want to make this a training exercise? So, you know, I'm still in awe. You know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's it's amazing to watch the dog for the first time come from what we call the farm. Mm -hmm. All the training, all the foundation, the genetics, and the philosophy, and bring her into an environment like this, and her head's turning like mine is just. But even though it's turning to distractions and all the stresses, she remains obedient. She mm. continues to take your direction. Look at you, you crafty little girl. And uh, you know, it's just, I, I mean, honestly, brother, I'm in awe to, to watch her move through this environment. There's so much chaos in the city and people are like roaming all over the place yeah. and there's food and dirt and things that she should not be having. That's right. Why would we put her in that environment? I mean. There's numerous reasons why you want to bring her into not only these distractions, but your pattern of life, where you go in New York, your job is going to take you to all different environments. This is a perfect opportunity to proof that with things not to eat, um, street crossings, right? I, I notice a couple of underground parking garages, cars coming in and out, stop, wait, seats. So all the foundational um, training that we put into her, now it's, it needs to be proven and tested, right? And that's what we do. Does it work? Is it necessary? And can it be duplicated under stress? And this is a, this is a, a big stress so environment. So we test this, we test stress it. test this, that's right. because this is real life. That's right. What are you looking for as she's in here? I'll tell you the honest, one of the biggest points I'm looking for is how you are communicating with her. Let's go. So you're not sitting still, you're moving. You're taking the opportunity to take advantage of every opportunity. Some people, um, they don't miss the mark, but they just don't see the magic in it, right? You're, you're, you're not only seeing the magic, you're creating it with her. Yeah. So as many obstacles as you see, you, you jump into that opportunity. So that's, that's the magic of just not only seeing what we've done with her, but continuing to see what you and her are gonna do on your journey. It's been great chatting with you, but I got to get to work. So yeah. let's go hit the subway. Let's do it. See how they react. Let's go. Let's get Ready. It. Let's go. Good boy. <laughs> so Nala's here in studio. Uh, I got to thank Josh Batten with Batten K9 because without him, we couldn't make this possible. It is truly the Batten way. Uh, if you love Nala like I do, you can follow her on Instagram, Instagram.com slash America's K9. She really is America's K9. Remember, we're doing this for all the veterans that struggle with mental health and they need assistance, we're trying to, trying to get them a canine. And I know Nala and any of these Batten canines would change their life because she's changed my life. Thank you so much for watching. This was our last show of 2022. But we'll be right back here live next year. But until then, you can find me on social media, Lawrence B. Jones 3 and Set Your DVR so you never miss a show. And don't forget to send us your stories at Cross Country at Fox.com. Good night, America. Come in, Z. Let's go. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.